everyone, it's Rita here. So I was just having a bit of a think today as I was applying my absolutely amazing smelling Melissa roller that I have at the moment that I'm using a heap of, rolling it on my throat. I've got a little bit of an itchy, uh, scratchy throat, so it's helping there because it's got some amazing properties in Melissa. Applying it on my wrists and down my arms and smelling it and loving it and loving the way that I smell. And I was just, as I was applying it in the car, I was thinking how many people, how many women particularly out there, or guys, like to smell good and apply things to their skin and around their clothes and their face and all this kind of stuff to make them smell good. And <laughs> you're putting really, really, really bad, dangerous chemicals on your body. It is extremely simple. It's extremely cheap when you have high grade essential oils as well already that you've got at home to make yourself a perfume, as an aftershave or something that you want to use so that you smell better by just doing this. So this is Melissa and I'm using it because of the how it supports me emotionally and also I've been a little bit run down and so my throat's been a bit sore. This is extremely powerful and potent. There's 10 drops of Melissa in there in a 10 mil roller and I've been, like I said, applying it to my throat and my um, uh, pulse points and things, places you would put perfume on and I'm smelling it and I'm smelling the amazing smell. It makes me feel good but what we have in here is essential oils, pure grade essential oils and fractionated coconut oil. That is coconut oil that's just had the fat content taken out of it so that, I don't know whether you can see, it's gonna remain liquid at all times. Okay, so that's two ingredients. I know exactly what's in there. I know that this is not harming my, um, my endocrine system. So we have so many people having issues with their hormones at the moment. Your endocrine system is like the, the powerhouse of your hormones. And the amount of hormonal issues that we have with people is, it's really quite scary, to be honest. And what does that come from? That comes from a lot of things, but one thing particularly are fragranced products. So things like your perfumes, your cleaning sprays, your, oh my goodness, the, I'm really annoyed that they're in like all the toilets, those um, room fresheners that spray something out every 30 seconds. And I, I kid you not, I walk into those rooms and I can feel it. I feel it in my eyes. I feel it in the back of my throat. I can feel my body does not like it because it's fake. Okay. So we're surrounding ourselves with these pretty smells that are actually killing us. They are making us really, really sick. So if you're spraying yourself with perfumes and your skincare and all that has those fake ingredients in there, be really aware of what that is actually doing to you and, and um, use it with informed, I guess, um, choice rather than just going, oh, it must be safe because someone has made this and it must have gone through some testing. That's not necessarily true. What happens with a lot of these fragrance products in there, they actually have what are called xenoestrogens or phthalates as, as one um, component of that. And what that actually does is that mimics estrogen in your system. And it, we have what are called hormone receptors. And we can have enough hormones in our system, but when you're using fake estrogen and fake uh, hormone mimickers, those mimickers come in and they block those hormone receptor sites and your normal hormones cannot function the way that they're supposed to. They can't help you. So we're putting these lovely smelling, not these ones, lovely smelling products on us. I'm spraying us. We're using deodorants. We're using perfumes. We're using um, hairsprays, all this kind of stuff that is full of things that are making your body sick. Okay. And that can affect your moods, it can affect your energy, it can affect your um, immune system, like it just is all, it's a big part of <laughs> why so many people are sick and it's not just that there's one thing that we'll be using, so someone might be using a perfume and think that's all they're using and putting that on their body, but we're exposed to these things everywhere. So if you can make a, an informed decision to make something that is, um, or not even make, use something that is pure and something that is not going to harm your body some essential oils are not pure they are just like using a fragrance because they are there's no testing in the essential oil industry so you can have something say that it's an essential oil but it's actually not and it's using the same kind of things that are in a lot of those perfumes so you can get as simple as this like this is granted a rather expensive roller because I've got Melissa in here. This is something that is, is working on an emotional, a physical, almost a spiritual level as well. It's helping to support me in many, many ways, but it smells amazing. 
don't want to make something yourself, that's okay. You don't have to do Melissa. You could do a couple of really lovely oils that you like to put together. Maybe some patchouli. A lot of people like patchouli. I never used to. I love it now. Patchouli and some lime and some passion or something. like. Make your own perfumes. And I actually do this every day with aromatic dressing. I apply oils to myself every day because I want to smell good. But also these oils and anything else that you're putting on your body are getting into your system and affecting your whole system. So whatever you're putting on your skin is being absorbed into your body and it is affecting your body. If it's a bad thing, so something that is um, man-made, basically man-made is going to affect your body, okay? Anything man-made is not ideal. And if we're taking that into our system, our body is fighting to detox that, get that out of our system so it can't function properly. So you do get tired, you do get sick, you do get sore and achy because your body can't function like normal. So make your own. If you can't be stuffed doing that, guess what? I just grab my um, little hard case roller here and you can get some of the doTERRA ones. So they've got, you could use Neroli. You could use some cheer and make your day better. You could use some motivate. You can use passion. You can use rose. You can use jasmine. Um, if you really like it, I don't. <laughs> you could use clary calm as your perfume. This, this is how you can start to make really small changes that are going to influence the, the good of your body and the good of your family and also the good of the environment. When we cut down on using these man-made products, they are going to... Those man-made products affect the environment as well. So we're putting things into the air and into our waterways and all this kind of stuff that's really damaging to them. So you can make small changes like this. You don't have to use it in a roller bottle. You can put some in here and put it in with some vodka. Don't drink it. Uh, as there is a dispersant. You can put some fractionated coconut oil in there and use it as a spritzer as well. I actually have some ones in water with just essential oil that I spray my clothes sometimes if I... Either I'm trying to iron them or I am trying, wanting to smell nice, okay? So there's, there's different ways that you can do this and it's really, really simple when you have the right things. Essential oils that are the purest grade are going to be the, just the thing that you can use for so many different things. So use them to help you if you're feeling run down. This here, this is Melissa and I said this at the start. I've been using this because it came up in a scan, an Itovi scan that said that my body needed it emotionally and physically. So I've been using that because I love this oil and I feel that it's helping me to work through stuff emotionally that I need some help with, okay? I'm using this, every time I use this to help myself emotionally, these oils are getting into my system. This is an extremely powerful oil. It is fantastic for your moods and your emotions and helping to lift yourself out of darkness and feeling really low and sad. This is not just a smell. This is not just something that is um, going to have people go, oh, you smell nice. This is helping you. And it's the same with these oils. You use them and they are helping you. They're not hurting you. And you smell good and people say nice things about you and that's amazing. <laughs> okay. So please consider cutting out synthetic. There might be a perfume you absolutely love and you're like, it's a, I'm, not, I'm not changing that for anyone. That's totally your decision. You can make that decision. It's your body. Be aware of that, okay? You make that decision. But you might also go, you know what? I've been feeling really sick and I feel like there's something that I just need to start changing and making some changes in my life. Start doing things like this where you can make small, simple changes and it's going to cause big results for you down the track, okay? You may not feel it straight away. Sometimes you do. People who are suffering from headaches and um, all that dizziness and even hormonal mood issues, all that kind of stuff, it can be because of the products that you are currently using that are affecting your endocrine system, your hormones, um, everything you might have a toxic load. What does that mean? It means that we're putting toxins in our body and it's creating a load on our body that needs our body needs to detox it and get it out of our system. And a toxic load is when you have so many toxins and chemicals in your body that it can't function properly. And it doesn't matter, you might be going along really, really well and not realize that you have these this toxic overload and all it takes is one more thing. It could be a natural product, but your body is in such a a dire straight that it is it doesn't matter what you put on it could be natural it could be synthetic and it can put you over that um, threshold of that's too much for my system so start making changes that cut things out replace them Re if you don't want to do everything all at once which can be really overwhelming start making small changes 
if you love your perfumes, start going down this track. Make some or get mm. someone to make mm. them for you. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you because I was sitting there today going, this is amazing. I'm using this as a perfume to help support me emotionally. It smells amazing like a perfume. People tell me I smell good and it's not hurting me. <laughs> so anyway, I wanted to share that with you and I hope that that helps you with um, just a bit of an insight into what some of these decisions that we make for, about things that are supposedly safe can be having on our body. So I will speak to you next time. Bye.